Good evening and welcome back to Timberborn. I have been watching Lujin here just uh, do things. He's our uh, old car over there. He's dropping down the places because we want to try and get this area over here sorted out. You can see we've done some things here. Oh, we have we have some damn done. Um, we have uh, the floodgates all made here. I have set them so that when a bad tide happens, they close, and when a bad tide oh, uh, finishes, they open. That does mean that the bad water that's in this area um, will potentially dump into the area, but it's not going to be a lot. So I'm not particularly fussed about that, if I'm honest with you. I think I think we'll be okay um, for just the water that's in that small area to get dumped into our our main river. I think we'll be okay. Well, um, this one over here um, is set to um, uh, when a drought starts or ends, um, or a bad tide ends, it just seals, and when a bad tide opens, it opens. So no water should go this way at all now. Hopefully that's the plan. Uh, right now I will because I'm waiting for this tree to be dropped down. That's why I've been watching Lugin. He, um, Lugin, he's, uh, I want him to go around to this tree here, but I have a feeling these are closer, so it's going to take a little while to do this one here. However, however, there is, there is a thing. There is a thing. Now, during a drought, which is what we're in, we've been in about a seven-day drought. Um, bad tide sources are still supposed to work. Bad water sources are still supposed to flow during a drought. However, we come up here. Either that's not the case, or it is the case, and our bad water supply in here just isn't strong enough to fill up this area which is a problem if we want to try and get the bad water out of here because to get it out of the top we need to um we we need to um have it fill now i'm hoping that when our uh thing here is built which it is being built now um all around boom, boom, it's going all out um when this is built because uh we are well one making it a smaller area and two lowering the edge area um it won't the water won't evaporate irrigate through transfer through whatever it won't it won't do that so much so it will be it will have the power to fill that channel way up i hope this is very very weak here um comments to the last episode thank you very much to those who commented i did it again i closed the window just before i started recording why do I keep doing that? Why, 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 why do I keep doing that? Boom, here we go. Okay. So, um, uh, Mr. Morky mentioned about there was no woodcutter down here. Yes, but we corrected that. So, this, this, yeah, okay. Um, uh, do, 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 do. Don, Don mentioned that we could, at our last post, yeah, so we have the aqueduct that's going to run all the way along here, all along here, and then off the edge of the map. The last one here, we could have a small tap off that fills a pool with bad water. So we always have a source of bad water. And we could put in a gauge in here to enable or disable that tap off depending on how much water is in here. So if there's um, too much in here, it will just pour off the map and get rid of it. If there's not enough in there, it will do that. Now we could either do that or we could just have the aqueduct drop into a pool that's here anyway and just have dams on the edge of the map. So it just pours out if it fills up overflowed. That's an option too. I do kind of like the idea of having the tap off, but not here. Maybe we could put it back here if we have towers going through. Well, we could put it over here somewhere or something. We could have it wherever we want to choose. We could even have it over here and have the bad water be away from the town. It's this side of the river. So like here we'll build a bit of bad water. Probably a square, just a square reservoir. And um, I might make it a round one. I might do something with it. Well. But we'll, we'll put it here and then we just, this is where our bad water pumps would live. And then pump out of it and um if it's getting too high so we're not pumping the pumping the bad tide out of it they just see it off that and then the water carries on flowing along off the map that way so i like that idea i like that idea a lot uh mr morkey also had the same sort of idea with that one there we could have a trigger point and and we, we should make um the the water the bad tide come start here and then just go along and come down that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna have it actually be slightly higher on this because I want it to be separated from the normal water, so it's going to be one higher, technically two higher because the pipe is the pipe entrance is one. But, but yeah, it's going to be higher, but it's going to be sealed all the way around up to three high, 
um, so that the bad water, the good water in here, cannot get into the bad water source and vice versa. That's the idea. So then that will pump out. That'd be fine. The only issue to this is that if the bad water does get to a point where it overflows because the pump's not working for every reason, it could overflow into the good water source. But it's such a weak flow of water. I've not had any beavers. They've been walking up here all the time, walking through this this water here, and none of them are getting contaminated. So I don't think we have to worry about it. I'm not fussed about it. Uh, another thing, uh, Hofmeister mentioned as well. Um, uh, we're trying to figure out the uh, the whole eating and drinking. I observed something watching them, watching the beavers. Um, when they was coming all the way down here to work, do things. A beaver could leave home, come all the way down here, do a thing, and then, oh, I need a drink. They come all the way back, they grab a drink from right here, and then even if it's after working hours, they will go and do the next task that they were assigned. Because between the two jobs they were doing, they got an emergency, I must get uh, water. Which is why sometimes the beavers come back and it's like, it's the next morning before they get home. So, so yeah, I feel like we're going to have multiple districts. I feel like we've got one down here. We're probably going to have another one over here. Um, another one maybe over here. Maybe one on top of the mountain. I'm not sure if we will or not. Possibly, because we might have something on the mountain. So, so there will be multiple districts that have to distribute things around, which would be fine. This is... As I said, an aesthetic playthrough. We're not going to have a massive amount of population. Um, and I think we will have an observatory somewhere. But generally, uh, like each district might have like this setup. It might have one gear workshop and one plank workshop somewhere. Um, like they'll have a little community hub. Uh, in the UK, what tends to happen on... You, you end up going down country roads and there's just fields or trees or something for ages and ages and ages. And then you won't come across one house... There'll be three or four houses all together, and then the road will carry on. And there'll be your fields. So I think it's going to be like that. We're going to go through, and you might find like if this is going to be a giant field, a farm area, which has a couple of houses around it. So the little community areas there around it for that. Um, there might be the odd one, you know, like they won't all be in one place. They're, they'll still be spread out quite a distance, but they are like in an area, and there's a big gap between them. Um, so we won't have like one house here. We might have a suburban area as well where there are houses quite close together maybe here will be where our suburban areas will have houses quite, but they will all have like yards and things so they'll all have um uh like the one house i will probably use double houses for it and drop half them down underground just because the population they give you it's be a little bit more for us to play with spare beavers to do things um uh, so we'll do that and then like this building will have 10 tiles around it of land uh, to do things so yeah we could do that we will have to figure out a river that makes the ground green all the way around them because you don't want your yard to be uh, dry. You want you want that to be there. So, um, so we might do that. We might do that. Um, also, uh, I do have a mod that changes the ranges of things. So, like you see here, um, this is default range I think at the moment. Uh, but I have a mod that can change the range that the district can reach and also production buildings can reach. So, like at the moment, I think I've set it all to default, so this can reach here. But I could say, hey, let's increase this so it's much a larger range, not for the number jacks. But for a forester, we could put a forester in and he could reach everybody's gardens and just plant like the odd tree in each garden. So we don't have to have like put a forester in then destroy the forester because he's only reaches as far. We could have massive ranges on things. So to make it look pretty, I don't know. Um, I kind of feel like over here is where I want to have loads of farmland. So we're going to have lots of wheat, some carrot fields and stuff we'll put in here. Um, like a farm here with a few houses that does two or three fields around it. Another farm here around it maybe another farm here as well all around here and they'll have their own district center probably um like maybe in the center there'll be a district between the three farms so if we let me um let me zoom the camera out so if we look at this here so if we had one farm here one farm here and one here we've got a little bit of land here that's got nothing onto it but um and then the center we could put that could be the district center is and there could be a little market there that could be where the town buildings are like the uh, a forester and stuff works um it could be where the storages are so the farms all feed that them storages in there um and it would be where we'd have things like the uh, uh the campfire i'm kind of regretting shrinking the map down uh oh uh oh five isn't strong enough oh dear um shrink the map down to the side i should have left it at two five six two six because most of the map is used by the mountain so uh oh this um this doesn't work okay okay 
Right. So five is not enough. I guess we need six wide. Oops. Oops. And that's even with this output here. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, I think we need six wide. We are flooding away. Oh, actually, herp -derp, um, it's not leaving. The water's not leaving anywhere. That's why. That's why the water's not, not allowed. We've, I've sealed this off here, so all the water's coming down the river, and there's no way for the water to get out. Um, <laughs> okay, we want to get down here and dam this off here um, to let the water go through. Uh, but I need to adjust this to um, let the water out. Uh, can, I, can I just open these? That is a no, they get sealed off very quickly. Um, can I... Disable you, and then open. There you go, okay. Open all the way. There you go, so you're disabled, so you'll just, you'll just open, you'll just let the thing do it. Okay, okay, there we go, sorted, boom, nice, right. Um, so, the other uh, comment that was left, um, again by Hofmeister, was... Um, now, with our aqueduct system, maybe we could do uh, water wheels in it to get power. Now, I don't want to do a big long line of water wheels because that doesn't look very nice. I feel like the I feel like having the aqueduct here with just the towers for the bad water would be fine. But the good water, we could we could take the good water by sealing around this, um, just just at all the, these four points here. Um, all the way around we, we could we could just fill these and then seal around it and that would give us the good water and then we could run it this way down to the river here and um, so it could come here along this way down to the river so bump to the right all the way down the river but the water wheels we could put like we, we could actually dig a channel out we could use explosives to dig a channel out so it's like a proper canal running down the river and we put a water wheel here and then as it goes down level we put one here one here one here there and there but it comes down with the contour of the mountain we don't we don't have it extended out i think it just so there's here here and then here we'll go down by three and we'll put a water wheel below there and then we'll go down by like three again and, and we'll just do that along i feel like that'd be nice that'd be nice and we have like water wheels here for doing things for power and then the power can be transferred around wherever we want to transfer power around. we can do it wherever whenever we need to not a problem not a problem okay are you receding or are you not receding Maybe the one isn't enough to... Oh, it is. It's, yeah, it is. It's just slowly receding. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, so, yeah, if this needs to be six, I actually want to move all these. Yeah. Let's destroy these. Set this to be high priority pickup. That. Okay. That will let the water flow out here. That should absolutely get rid of this here. Yay. Right. And then I'm going to put in... Uh, Levy, sorry, uh, floodgates. I'm going to put them here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we will levy off the end there. So we are trapping all the water in. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, we are full on logs here, however, so building them would be quite nice. So we we'll use some more logs there. So cool. Okay. So yeah, so we'll do that. So maybe maybe we'll go six wide, and then I can change this one to be wide as well. Although the floor's not open here, so I might need to blow this up um, to have it open, like like seal this end off, and then blow this end up so it it flows in there. It may also be that the five is absolutely fine to doing what we want to do, and it's just that I'm not letting enough water out the end over here, which is a thing most likely. So. But that's why I put you guys here, because you should be trying to chop down all the trees in this area here. Shall we cancel this project? Um, for a moment. And instead, run a single line. All the way along so we can get to the end so we can down up this end we can levy up like at least two of them and then put dams in on the top so the water will pour over the edge for the moment it'll pour over this edge here because we haven't got here yet but 
think that's going to make a bit more sense. We'll let it do that and then we'll put another one in after we've done a path along and we will channel our way through all the way to the end. And then how big is this? We don't want three, we want two. Okay, two of them can go in there. But on there you go, that seals that off nicely. And then we'll put dams on top and to let the water out because this will be sealed descent here. So we will dam that off and then we will levy there. And the rest will levy off as well. But right now this will just let the water flow out this way here. So that'll that's right, then we can get rid of this here. This can be got rid of, and it'll be fine. I think it'll be awesome. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Right. So, so, um, oh, someone else I did as well. I added a water tank here because this wasn't getting enough water in. So it's got its own water supply as well. Um, might do its own little food supply down there as well. Just do a bit of carrots or something. I don't know. It's getting, it's getting carrots in. There's no problem. The carrots never seem to be, it never fills the box up. It only ever gets to like halfway. Which I think makes sense because we're only going to import if needed. We're not force importing stuff, so. Okay. I'm going to wait for this to build. Because I can't redo really a light until this is filled up. There's no point in me building the aqueduct until we finish building these in here to find out whether it is strong enough to fill it all the way to the top. Because if it isn't strong enough, we've got to cancel that plan and try something else. I still want to do the aqueduct. Maybe we could just seal the whole lot off instead and do an aqueduct across. And then filter out the bad water at the end although it's going to trickle it's going to be a tiny amount of bad water so we will see we will see so let's build this um uh, these want to be open for the moment at least anyway let's build this let's go over here and get this done you are you've run out of space already cool, cool. okay and then we will just continue along and I will come back when we're uh, ready to dam this off and do something else, or this is done, or something. We'll, we, we will, we'll be right back. Oh, well, the plot, or maybe I should say the water thickens. Um, this is moving at a rapid pace. This is on a one time scale speed. This is moving at a rapid pace. Um, it is, it is flooded. It is here. Fortunately, you flooded the building before the beaver was working in it, so we still don't have anyone who's contaminated. However, it turns out that six level ones are not enough. I know I could do the, I, I, yeah, we could do the maths on this to figure out exactly how much is needed here. I know that I haven't done that. It's my bad. I know, but we need to open this more. Um, so I'm thinking that we destroyed these two, and we put in dams here as well. Um, uh, floodgates here as well. Um, just to try and let the water. Plow around a bit better, I suppose. Because if I do that, um, that should let enough water out that this will drop. Because now it's got eight places to go, he says. Hopefully. But it may not be. It may not be enough still. Though it's not flooding that much. It's only flooding a little. Like, it's not going any further than this at all. So, maybe it was the initial this shutting that's just pu pushed it up there. Hmm, not going down. It's not going down. It looks like treacle. A treacle. It's goopy. Goopy water. Okay. Kind of sucked. Are these open 100%? Yeah, these, these are all open 100%, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, this is not going down at all, even with those two open there now. I suppose the water was flowing over the top anyway, so... Hmm. Okay, I'm at a loss here. However, I do want to kind of open these because um, we want these pumps to be going here, don't we? So... Yeah. Um, also, this here does have enough power during the bad tide to keep the water flowing. Um, so I think that's obviously the bad side that's with the guys on the outside uh, that's something else that I completely ignored from earlier on when I was saying about having the good water come down here the good water would also become bad water um, when the whole thing goes so yeah um, 
Maybe I should have just sealed around the outside of this and grabbed all of it. Every last bit of uh, water. And just run it in an aqueduct. Like the whole the whole thing. And then as we got down here, just had a pipe come off going, hey, take the bad, bad, bad water out. Just all the time. Just take the bad water out like here. Take the bad water out and, and do that. And then the rest of it can just go wherever off the map. Whatever. So, yeah. Yeah. Now I think about that, that probably would have been the better way to do it. So when bad tides do come along, we get a boost. Because right now, uh, we don't have any bad water. We're not ever going to get any bad water because of this. Um, so... Let's open these. Open. Go. Just, uh... Just, just go. Most of the water's going this way anyway. This this is not working. This is not, we, need to, we need to do something better here. Um, we may even come down with explosives and actually make this a better channel. Maybe straighten this up a little bit here. Or should I wouldn't be more of a... But do something with it to make it work better for us. So, yeah. But, um... We will see. We will see. So this is doing its thing here. Um, hopefully this will open at some point soon. That can open and flow out. So, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Should have grabbed all of it. Should have grabbed all of it. Oh. However, we are sealing off the end here. Um, so this will be done very soon. Um, it's taking a long time, mainly because we don't have any planks. Uh, we didn't have any planks for a while, so uh, we need more planks. But that's fine. Uh, carrots are still fine. I wouldn't add to two farms. I actually got rid of a farm. So that's that's. Uh, don't know if I did that on camera last time. I can't remember. Um, I may have done that well well beforehand. So yeah. Um, but I think I think six floodgates are enough if they were too deep. Obviously they are not too deep here, so we need to get in and explode this out some more. So yeah, I think we'll do that. I think we will have to get some explosives here, and then start laying out some explosives in here, and try and making this. Deep so it will come straight along. We'll seal that off there. Blow that block up there. Um, and it will turn that way. And we'll make this all deep enough. And then we'll go that way. And then we'll have the floodgates on here. And floodgates here. And these will let the good tide through. And these will let the bad tide out. And then because it'd be deeper as well. Um, even though we'll have the floodgates on the side here that can open and close. Whatever. Uh, we could put in some bad water pumps and have this bad water pump. We could build a, a large reservoir here. Um, reservoirs they're not going to look natural they're not going to look like natural holes they're, they're going to be square That's, there's nothing I can do about that um, but yeah yeah. Um, I need to get the bad tide sorted because we need explosives explosives are the thing that are kind of reconnecting for us we've got 200 which is nice 203 um, but that's not enough to do anything we want to do plus I need to get rid of all the trees in here which we are doing we are doing I'm now chopping down all these trees here I have these two lumberjacks which can cover the entire area so that's working for us there. Okay. Okay. We just need to um deal with this. Deal with this. And I think I think if we had a bigger source here, um, it would help us as well because we could have this district be the bad water district. And it just pumps and just stores mass amounts of bad water and then ships it off to wherever it needs to go. Um during a bad tide. It just it would we just have like I mean, I can't have like a hundred beavers down here doing the job, but you, you know, we basically every beaver um, will leave their job and will work in pumping bad water out and will rely on imports of, of uh, food and stuff. So, yeah. Speaking of which, you don't have any imports of carrots. Why is that? Nobody is available to work here. Uh, this small gate needs to be the highest priority, please. What? Why? Why has everyone died off here? What's happened? What's happened here? Uh, did, did everyone just die off at the same time here? I've not had any beavers die. They've all died of old age. But I guess everyone in this area here has just died. Um, yeah. Weird. Why has this been paused? Did I pause that? I might have paused that by mistake. Oh. Oops. Oops. Hmm. Okay. You're obviously working in the pump, keeping the water going, but you have no food. Hmm. I don't 
know if they can eat food from here. It looks like they might be able to. Like the, the kit's coming up here. Yeah, I think he is. I think he's eating food from here. So they can eat food from the store. Okay, so that's that's right. So they're alive. They're alive. They're okay. They're okay. Okay. Okay, right. Not so bad. Not so bad. Um. Yeah, this is all filling up now. This is all being... This is not ideal. I didn't didn't plan this properly. I didn't plan this properly. Um, I think we need to get more lumberjacks, more um, choppers in, more uh, more things to get more planks. We can seal this. So this will be done soon anyway. And then this needs to be done, and then nothing's been done. So I'm going to leave the game running between episodes for a very long time, for for as long as I possibly can. Um, we're going to leave it running. And hopefully we will get this built so we can find out whether this works here. Um, I can, I've just kind of realized as well, we can seal off the area around it. Um, and we could say, hey, the water does flow down here through the power wheels, which would be absolutely fine. Um, and then when it gets like here somewhere, we could say, hey, if it's bad water, go this way. If it's good water, go that way. That's, that's an option. We could build our own canal thing and just have this as a reservoir for bad water. Um, and like just seal this all off with dams all the way along. It's only one deep isn't ideal but the length of this wall would let us definitely do that and uh the bad water would come out so the bad water comes in here so we could do that um it would work and then we just seal these gates off so we just get rid of this we dam all the way along here levy some of it damn damn most of it have the pumps in here and then at some point we can come and explode it out and make it deeper um, so it can be a deeper reservoir of that and then this would come along down here so uh, whoop, down here boom, 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 we'll end up like here somewhere um, and then we could say hey you go this way into the river if you're good water or if it's bad tide we swap them around we just have the bad water come down here and then that way we could we still have a aqueduct going the other way because I kind of want to build the aqueduct I kind of like the idea of just having that to the towers with the water pouring between them and particularly if we have the towers and then we have uh like the water properly pouring into it like you see the water pouring down into it and the next one pours into it so it goes down by a couple of blocks between each one um, i would like that i feel like that would be a nice one i don't know how tall this is um 22 blocks i think and then it goes down like four 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 yeah see okay okay that's the plan We'll see, will it? We'll see if it works. We'll see if it works. I will leave this running between episodes. Uh, we will actually get this thing built here because it's just taking forever to build. I do apologize for that. Nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. But we are getting to bad water, so that's not bad. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Until then, as always, have fun.